there are only two ways that I see this video going down. It's either going to be a fucking banger, or I'm going to have killed myself due to accidental self-immolation. You see, if you read the title, you could probably tell that this video is about time zones. And while the prop is a working digital clock, I can't afford to just smash this thing for the sake of a video. But fear not, I have a solution. The following should demonstrate just about what my feelings on time zones are. Basically this, it's getting kind of hot in here, does it still work? Whoops. Yeah, it does, nice. Fear not, I had a bucket of water on the floor. Where I'm from, we call this here a safety hazard. It's getting really hot in here now, I'm gonna put this shit down. Just to be clear, don't try any of that shit at home. It's stupidly fucking dangerous. But yeah, we're here to talk about time zones and why they suck absolute ass. I have a couple reasons that I've laid out into separate sections in my notes, none of which I'm going to define for you. I'm sick of laying this shit out for you all the goddamn time. You can get off your lazy ass and do it yourself for once. So let's suppose we insist on having time zones, right? There are 24 hours in a day, so wouldn't it make sense to split the world up into 24 different time zones? Dividing the world into 24 parts, each that represents at any given time during the day a single single hour in the possible of 24 that we could have. Well, you'd be wrong because there are more than 24 time zones thanks to the international dateline. That same thing that forced Cody from a sweet life on deck to relive the same day over and over again. That line is nothing but trouble. To make matters worse, the names of the different time zones changes every time daylight saving rolls around. So Eastern Standard Time when daylight saving rolls around is no longer standard. It has a different name now. I'll get back to the daylight saving time thing later because I got a lot to say about its punk ass. Don't get me started on these stupid fucking 30 minutes minute, 45 minute difference time zones. What's the point? Australia has three time zones most of the time, right? But when daylight saving rolls its trek of chaos through the country, it creates two more that aren't a proper hour difference, but instead it creates a 30 minute time zone difference. This shit is dumb. And it's like this because when everybody started making this shit up, they weren't coordinating with each other. And now it's a goddamn mess. They should have just made it permanently midnight in Australia as a metaphor for what it's like to live there. Here's a chart real fast of a bunch of time zones that are used. Now tell me, does this shit make any sense? If your answer was yes, then fuck you. The only reason you probably understand it is because you contributed to creating this monstrosity in the first place, bitch ass. These time zones warp the fabric of space-time, I swear to god. Just stay consistent with your country's capital! Like trains in Russia all run on Moscow time no matter which of the 11 time zones in Russia they're in. It's genius! Time zones are just stupid and inconvenient. How am I supposed to enjoy Fortnite when it's 3 p.m. and I get home from school and everybody's supposed to be awake but I can't play with Wild Fat Ass because he's over on the west coast and still asleep because it's only noon for him! At 1 a.m., how am I supposed to get Blues Dank from England to carry me on Fortnite when it's 5 or 6 a.m. depending on the time of year for him and he's still sleeping? How am I supposed to call Kappa Kaiju a balding bird brain and other alliterated insults when it's daytime for him and he's outside having a productive life and I'm calling him at midnight? Either that or he has to stay up till 5 a.m. to talk to some of us because I'm too busy during the day watching month-old music videos of the songs from the Black Panther album. God, I fucking love that album! If I upload a video at 3 p.m. Eastern time that works for most of the people in America and like a good chunk of people who are in Western Europe. But what about the thousands of viewers that I have in the Philippines? What about them? How am I supposed to upload at a time that's good for them when they're a world and half a day away from me? This shit hurts me in ways you couldn't imagine. I cry over this shit. The United States has four time zones and we're divided as shit. Given over admittedly important topics like sports teams, pineapple on pizza, which I will not divulge my stance on here by the way. Now look at China. They have one time zone for the entire country. And they're so united that they voted to remove term limits out of their constitution so that Xi Jinping could be their president indefinitely. I may have not thought the reasoning behind this thoroughly enough through, but regardless, they're like one fairly sized 1.379 billion member family. It's really wholesome. Now imagine if the whole world was one big time zone. We might all be united as one grand democratic planet, and we might have already achieved commercial space flight by now. But instead, we have to make Elon Musk do all the work for us. Give the poor guy a break, he's trying his best. Look to even other parts of the world. The EU has like at least two time zones. That's more than one, and look what's happening. Brexit. Whether that's good or bad, I don't fucking know. I don't live in Britain. You think I pay attention to their politics? No. The point is that time zones are literally and metaphorically ripping us apart. But who can blame our world leaders for not being able to negotiate whenever they have to go somewhere across the world to meet someone because they're jet lagged? And they have to get used to their new time zone instead of just staying on the same one they were on before. It's all connected. It's destroying the world's economy and the world's society. Now you may be asking, how do we solve time zones? Aren't they necessary for making sure we work during daylight hours? Well here's what I say. Remember how I said to make Australia permanently midnight 
night so that it can represent what it's like living there. Well, I say we use a modification of that plan. What's nighttime in Australia, we designate that as their daytime hours. And it would be actual daytime here in America. And nighttime in Australia, it is a land of nocturnal sentience, to be fair. It's beneficial to the entire population and the rest of the world population who can now successfully be carried by their friends on Fortnite at all hours of the day, no matter where they are in the world because everything is consistent. It's like O'Brien saying hello and welcome to the wonderful nation of Oceania. Big Brother is watching! That was another 1984 joke. It seems I've been making a good amount of those in my videos. It's very understandable if you didn't catch it. It's a very sophisticated joke that you have to be very intelligent to understand, so don't feel bad. Jet lag will also no longer be an issue because instead of having to deal with a different time zone when you go somewhere else, you're just operating on the same time as you were when you were home. You just have to get used to sleeping in different intensities of light or something. And if you're like me, then sleeping no matter where you are is not a fucking problem. Now, if you guys don't want to get rid of time zones because you think it's very important that everybody is working during daylight hours, we could just get rid of darkness instead. To do this, all we have to do is blow up the moon. We can definitely do it. We have enough nukes to destroy the entire planet a couple times over. Just launch a couple of those at the moon and boom, nighttime doesn't exist anymore. We now don't have to worry about this whole time zone debacle and now there's less nukes in the world. Everybody wins. I mean, sure, maybe the moon being the reason we have nighttime is wholly incorrect and we'd probably just end up fucking up the tides and a lot of the natural order of the world. And launching nukes into space is all sorts of dangerous, but honestly, no pain, no gain, my guy. Go big or go home. Avengers Infinity War is the most ambitious <laughs> Now back on the topic of daylight saving. My sleep schedule is already fucked. No matter if I get an extra hour or if I lose an hour of sleep, it's still just pushing the dick in an extra inch. If you get an extra hour of sleep, then you just lose that hour later in the year. Even if the numbers of hours you're losing and getting is equivalent, the trade-off isn't. You're just asking to destroy your sleep schedule no matter what you do. You'll either get up at your normal time and then go back to sleep and oversleep, you'll either miss work or school and A, lose your job, or B, get yelled at by your parents for being an hour late to school. Imagine that you're Gila Klein, Blue's deck. and that you're just streaming at midnight with the broskies, and then suddenly it's 2 a.m. because daylight saving time pounces on your ass and fucks you in it like a seal does to a penguin unwillingly. I'd play a clip, but that shit's just really brutal. I never know if Britain is five hours ahead of me or four hours ahead of me, because for like two weeks out of the year, every year, everything just gets thrown out of whack, because these two countries, America and the UK, they're supposedly really close allies, can't just set the same fucking day for when they're going into daylight saving time. If we got rid of daylight saving time, there's a lot of good we could do. For one, we could worry just a little less about the extra car crashes that are created by the disruption to our sleep schedules. We don't need it. There is no reason that Florida should be setting the example for how we should be handling daylight savings time. Is Florida being the role model what you want? Very few things ever come out of that state, but it seems like them trying to do away with daylight savings time is one of them. And in conclusion, time zones have thrown the world into chaos. There's no unity to be had everywhere. Not in world politics, not in foreign relations, not even in a country within itself, not in my sleep cycle, not even in who I play video games with, and not even in my upload schedule. And daylight savings time is killing an extra couple people every year. Just not the best in my personal opinion. And just time in general was a construct created by people long before us to keep workers in line and obedient. Of course, that didn't work because workers overthrew the bourgeoisie, but you get the point. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, and if you're new, subscribe. This is a sort of different topic that I don't usually cover on the channel. If you guys enjoyed this or want to see more stuff like this, be sure to leave that in the comments below. And also tell me if you don't. Also, I do want to make it clear that most of the stuff I was saying in this video was just for a meme. Just having some goose, if you know what I mean. I also have a live podcast called Pullover that I try and stream every week. I usually stream on Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern time, but times and dates do vary depending on mine and the guest schedule. Not that they should, because we should all be on one universal time zone. But anyways, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Quite for updates on when I'm streaming. If you want to check out any of the already heard episodes, they've all been uploaded to a separate channel, and there's a link to that channel in the description and in the sidebar of the main channel. To anybody who's pledged to the Patreon so far, I really appreciate it. If any of you guys are interested in taking that extra step and helping out the channel, there's a link to the Patreon in the description. I also have a Discord server. There's a link to that in the description as well. Anyways, now that I've accidentally unplugged this digital clock from the wall multiple times, this has been Quite, and I will see you guys next time.